everybody, welcome to Blue Rescue Team with uh, Gabe and Scott. Hmm. So, welcome back everyone. After the last episode where we did nothing but uh, feed people jelly beans, it's time to get ready to go dungeon crawling. That one bear he amuses me so. A long time to see you, well. You see, I've heard about Lombard's tale, it's too funny. I heard that Lombard almost drowned at sea, but that Lombard, he lives in water. How very pathetic. So, yeah. Believe it or not, that's actually what triggers one of the dungeons to open that we need to go to. So now we have to go talk to Lombard about how he almost drowned. Right. Yeah, traumatic experiences are funny to that prick. What's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I wasn't drowning. Sheesh, they're making up stories about me. Want to know what really happened? See, I went out to see the frolic a while back. You know? I was oh, trying that dive thing. He was frolicking? So I was having fun going underwater and I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden, these wicked clouds rolled in, and before I knew it, there was a full blown storm raging. There's more. A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked witless. I got out of there fast. But who'd have guessed? A dungeon in a stormy, stormy sea? Huh? You want to know more about the dungeon in the sea? I was vamooshed it. I've been mooshed it out of there, so I can't really tell you much. I know. Maybe Wishcash would know something. Yeah, that'd be best. Go talk to Wishcash. All right. Yeah. So now we have to talk to the old man with the curly mustache. Ah, so you wish to know about the dungeon in the sea? I too have heard of it. I've heard of poison. Is that is far off on the coast. It is a sea churned by torrential storms and violent waves. It is a place appropriate named the Stormy Sea. There one will find a dungeon that leads to the bottom of the sea. The sea is infinitely dark and its depths unimaginable. That's where I've that's what I've heard. Ha 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 You look eager to go. However, to go beneath the sea, a hidden machine named Dive is needed. Without Dive you cannot go to the Stormy Sea. Ha 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 Your face tells me you're desperate to go. So be it, you may have this. Boost do, 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 do. We Blue's received HM Dive, which uh, is a promise. I don't remember being promised that. I understand that is a very rare item that was found in a place called the Solar Cave. If you were to carry that hidden machine as an item, or if any team member wishing to enter the move used that hidden machine to learn dive, you would be able to enter the Stormy Sea. AKA just mentioned another dungeon where you can find HMs. Yeah. Okay, so now here's the part where you have to make a risky decision. Either A, you can use Dive to, to go into dungeons by carrying it around with you, or you can teach it to someone, so that way you always have someone to take you there. But if you take a hidden machine with you into a dungeon, as in you take the item itself with you, there's a chance you'll lose it like any other item when you go in. Only I can learn the move right now. Yeah, because you never recruited another water type. Yeah, how do I, uh, how do you get rid of moves if you weren't an HM? Oh, you have to go to the guy who links moves together to delete moves. Okay, so it's not that big of an issue. Yeah, you can delete HMs. Um, I'll get rid of Scary Face. Eh, nah, whatever. Whoa, scratch. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Like now I would put that away and grab everything we're gonna need. By the way, I'm staying home for this one. Are you sure? Positive. It's a game. It's a dungeon called the Stormy Sea. There's going to be nothing but water. Are Why you the sure? Why the fuck would a fire type go into a water dungeon? Because I really want you to come with me. Come I'm on. I'm staying out of this. Come on, Scott. That is final. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Now make sure you leave me behind. Ah, uh, fine. Um. So what do I need with me? Secret. Ooh, you can teach Shockwave to Raven and have him super effective. Everybody. Alright. By the way, folks, also, interesting fact, don't throw away used TMs. You can actually recharge them via moves. It's actually a pretty sweet thing. Yep. Which means uh, you never technically need more than one copy of any HM. You just need to have someone know the move recycle, use it, and then recycle, and then all of your moves will be recharged. Downside, you can only do this in dungeons. Yeah. So whenever you're doing this, make sure you have an escape orb handy. Or just go into Thunder Wave Cave. Eh? D honestly, it's like, what, three, five, fours or something? Or, you know, Tiny Woods. Yeah, th three fours. I couldn't remember the name of it, so I didn't even want to try to say it. You couldn't remember Tiny Woods? How would I? It's literally 
the name of a children's book. Yeah, and I don't... I, I don't read children's books. It's been years. You have a baby Liam Neeson that you birthed with your massive birthing hips, damn it. That's my nephew, and I didn't give birth to no one. I don't have birthing hips. To be fair, your wife wouldn't declare otherwise. Uh-huh. I don't even have a wife. She's my girlfriend. I love her deeply, but I've yet to marry her. Are you marrying her? Future? Then... Then, guess what? You're, she's your wife. You're married. Congratulations. I'll throw you a bachelor party. Uh, shut up. <laughs> there'll Just be shut plenty up. of There'll be plenty of boats and hoes. Just shut up. Never. So, I'm gonna store the last of my stuff. As you can tell, I'm going after all the uh, friend areas. It's just going to take a little while. And apparently, I have to get rid of this bum because he's useless to me. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Water dungeon. Piss off. Doesn't matter. We've went into water dungeons before. You got wrecked by normal moves more often than you got wrecked by freaking water types. Water types, in general, kill me. Whether or not they use one. Um. Wait, I got rid of the other party, right? I got rid of Raven by accident. Well done, Dingus. I actually wasn't looking at my recording. I was looking at something else entirely. And I just did the moves because I knew how to move. I just clicked on the wrong name. Uh. I actually don't know how to get to you via there. So I just head in via this. It's in the mountain area. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Okay, it's Mount Cleft. Wait, By what? my I... mother's... This is the worst idea you've ever had. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> By my mother's bendable, I say nay! I'm not used to that. I'm used to giving people gummies and not trying to get them out of my party. Yeah, well, you'll learn. Just a second, I need to close something. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't you don't see this, but he's open task manager. No, they can see it and they're not looking at it because it would pick up on the recording. Are you closing Google Chrome finally? Honestly, that should have been closed already. I don't know why they closed. Because Google Chrome wants your soul. This isn't a Steam game. Alright. It should be on Steam. Everything should be on Steam. Including Dragon Age Inquisition, but EA chose to be a prick about it. So ladies and- Oh, wait! Dude! Solar Cave! It's already unlocked! Fucking sweet! You wanna head there? No, we're going to Stormy Sea. Well, you're going to Stormy Sea. I shall be sitting at home drinking lava tea. Alright. Uh, should I bring a grass type with me? Do I have any strong grass types? Let's see. I mean, if you want. The only grass type you have is CDOT. Nope. Well, who's the other grass type? What? You said nope like you had another grass type. No, I said nope because he's level 16. <laughs> yeah. Stormy Sea it is! Okay, teach Raven Shockwave right now. Hey, Raven! Time to get rid of Taunt. But he should be taunting all of his enemies. No. <laughs> Alright. This, so, this dungeon is pro probably going to be fun for anyone who enjoys messing with people, if, especially if you're a water type, because aside from the actual walls that exist, there's nothing restricting you from doing anything. Yep. Well, I mean, any water types. Like, see? Those dark water areas? You shouldn't be able to walk through that normally because those are gaps in the floor. But because Gabe is a water type, he can walk through them with these. And look at all that money! That... That was... 50 pokey. Like, not even 50. It was like 60 pokey, but still. Hey, I could do with $60 in real life. That's 60 pokey, which means it's 60 cents. No, we don't know that this is yen. Uh, no, actually, people have equated uh, the actual price of things, and it's actually close to yen. Eh. The, the, the price of lemonade and other things like that, yes, it is. Price of milk in this world. Well, to be fair, most of these cows are hand-milked. Yeah, and? 
That's some fresh-ass milk. Yeah, and it's expensive milk. In the same way that any good milk you find here is that price. Yeah, milk isn't that expensive here. It's only five dollars. Five dollars for a gallon of milk. What? It used to be like two dollars and twenty cents. Used to be. Yeah. Times have changed, Gavin. The only reason they've changed is because people are greedier. Yeah, that and milking a cow's titty is oftentimes very disgusting for most. No, actually, it's not disgusting in the slightest. I've had to milk cows before. I've milked cows. Yeah, not cows everyone's and comfortable goats. grabbing cow titties. They're not tits. They're not at all. Gabe, you try and tell it to anyone who grew up in the city, and you're going to find out how hard it is to explain that an udder is functionally different from the breast of another mammal. People are stupid? Hey, you just insulted every person who lives in the city that, that is your uh, subscriber. Uh, I don't have subscribers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure PK wouldn't care to disagree. I don't think he lives in a city. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't know where anyone we know on Skype lives, aside from you and a handful of other people. So you know where people live. <laughs> to be fair, Cass gave us her address within the first week of meeting her. Well, no, to be fair, I, I just... I found her address. Yeah, and then she just gave it to me. Yeah. I want to prove the fact that she was really easy to stalk if I wanted to. Yeah, and that's why I hated your guts when we first met. Yeah, good times. And then you didn't hate me after like five minutes. No, I still hated you. Still no, hate you... you... Oh. <laughs> Wait, I forgot. No wonder Raven's not doing well. Yeah, you turned off the thing. What? No, I didn't turn on anything. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Quick. Oh, really? Um. Oh, hey, Skype went off. There we go. Justin, you're typing quite loudly. Sorry, I'm just kind of close to my keyboard. What was that noise? What? Did, did you just slap your thing? No, Gabe, I did not slap my dick, and implying that I did so was quite rude. No, not what I meant, Justin. I meant, did you slap your mic? No, I moved it out of the way. Yeah, it was quite loud. Uh, well, I don't really have a stand for my mic, so it's literally me dragging a microphone across my desk. Yeah, no wonder it's so loud. I'm sorry, should I start molesting people's ears like this? No. <laughs> You should not. That is actually the exact opposite of what I want you to do. Exactly, so don't critique me, damn it. Nice to know that you have such an issue with people critiquing you. Yeah, I've always had an issue with critiques. Mostly because everyone does it. Wait, Shockwave's a ranged move? Yep. It's like <laughs> flamethrower. You can shoot it from across the room. I'm looking at you through the glass. Don't know how much time has passed. It feels like forever. Aurora beam. What? Yeah, that's what Seal used. No, what was that giant white light on me? That was Aurora beam. That looked like I was revived. Yeah, that could be very misleading. Hey, try using dive. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's powerful. Yep. And in a water dungeon like this, this is so much fun. <laughs> that's such dickery. Dude, not to mention, well, once you've dived, you're invulnerable, so no one can hit you. Yeah, that's such dickery. Oh my gosh, such power. Unlimited power! Whatever you say. So now, I... Honestly, I just... Is there anything I have to do in this dungeon? Nope, just complete all 40 floors. No. <laughs> Yeah. No worries, though. It won't be so bad. 
It's 40 floors of fun. I wish you had told me it was 40 floors, because I would have brought Max uh, elixirs and uh, more apples with me. We'll be fine. We'll just. You eat didn't the tell me why I was getting in. What I was in for. What I was yeah, getting into. Just, it's simple. Just eat some slowpoke tails. We don't actually get those, Justin. You can rip it off the slowpoke you just killed. Hey, Orin Bear, you can eat those. They'll restore health and fill your hunger meter. Yeah, I know. Oh, you've been disabled. Well, oh, you're in a wheelchair now. That's terrible. You should feel hey. bad. Hey, 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 Gabe, want to hear a funny joke? No. What's the hardest part? To no! It took me forever to get that joke in, but I did. I laughed far too hard about it. Oh my god. I don't oh. care how bad of a person that makes me. It's fucking funny. Um. Don't get rid of any of the bands. Just eat a cherry berry or something. Uh, what's your scary face like? Oh, come on. You're slow already. He Be is a slow weakened! He's a slowpoke, he doesn't go any slower. You can always go slower. Gotta go slow. Yep. Gotta go okay! Slow. <laughs> you can slow yourself, but what I wanna do it no. Um Screw it? I'm eating it. <laughs> Seriously, I wish you had told me it was 44s, because I would have stocked up on Relax. long dungeon items. Besides, we're only here for one thing, and then afterwards we'll unlock a bunch of other dungeons. Yeah, but the problem is that I don't have any good food on me. Also, clickety clackety, I'm I'm typing a lot. Why are you typing a lot? Because I'm talking to someone who's rather important to me. Fine. <laughs> Running around at the speed of doom. Boop, 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 boop. And if you're worried about hunger, just eat some of the friggin' gummies. Yeah, I'm starting to do that because I'm running out of inventory space. Besides, it's not like you'll starve to death before you reach floor 40. Yeah, actually I would. Then eat the friggin' fossil fish in front of you. That's not how that works and you know it. I know a lot of things, but uh, you can't tell me what I do and do not know. By the way, Pass Scarf is, re is a really fun item to have if if you have party members you don't like, or you've recruited a bunch of Pokemon you don't need anymore. What? Because what it'll do is it'll pass the damage onto the people around you. Oh. Which is really fun if, you, if you're in a monster house and you just keep redirecting damage to the Pokemon around you until you're in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Downside is it uses up a lot of hunger. Yeah. So it's not something I would want to use in this dungeon. Especially since you didn't bring a lot of food. Yeah, because I didn't know how big this dungeon was. It's post-game. I told you at the end of the original game that there would be a lot, a lot of... Yes, but you dungeon. didn't... You said, oh no, we're not doing this dungeon because it's a 99-4, so instead we're going to do this. So I figured it was going to be like a 24 dungeon or something. Well, there aren't any 24 dungeons that matter that are available right at the start. Hey, quick seed. Uh, another gummy. The quick seeds are good for for quick escapes. In case, or you know, just attacking multiple times in a row. Or you know, if there's a monster house and there are a lot of Pokemon, you can't kill. Oh, music change. Yep, we've gone deeper, and there are more gummies. And, and a max elixir, which is why you actually care about more. Hey, the gummies will keep you alive. Zap, buddy, zap, zap. You know what's funny? It kind of looks like Raven shooting the lightning from his uh, forehead thing. Oh, non-sleeper, that's a good ability. Um... That basically means you can't be put to sleep by things. Yeah. 
see. My moves are currently at that. Is there anything I would like to drop for this? Uh, I honestly don't care much about that Ornberry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I wouldn't uh, toss an Ornberry. Sleep sleep. Yeah. I didn't realize I had that. Yeah, I mean, sleep... The seeds are good for tactical uses. They're like tactical grenades. You might want to switch on non-sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's trap avoider, Gabe. Yeah, I know. Did I pass it? It's right under the one you just turned on. Trap of Warrior. Oh. Non sleep. Gabe, Gabe, I am not the one playing the game. How did I see that before you? Um, because I'm having to do with uh, um, other crap. Uh, wait, 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 go back. Non trader. Uh, wait a minute. Ugh, you are such a dingleberry. Insomnia prevents drowsiness. I just gave myself insomnia through my intelligence. Uh, all geniuses suffer from insomnia? There we go. Yeah, you're good. I now, I now dodge more moves. That's good. And you've left Raven behind. I honestly don't care at this point. He's capable of taking care of himself. Hey, hey, he found a feel. Not gonna lie, those those Pokemon have always seemed kind of derpy and adorable to me, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I don't know why I would use one. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> they heard you be talking shit. <laughs> hey, I'm not in the dungeon. I'm sipping lava tea at Mount Cleft. Yeah. But they know I'm uh, I I'm friends with you. So they're gonna beat the shit out of you in my place. Good luck, Gabe. You dick. Hey, it's not my fault. Stormy C418. At this point, I would just recommend running to the stairs as fast as possible. Mm. That way you don't run out of hunger and starve to death. Yeah, I know. Look at what I have. Yeah, warp orbs are only useful for monster houses. Well, they have a few other uses. I just want to see if I already had one, which I did, so. Bye! Fucking... Seriously, I love how much damage that deals. That's That feels good. It's gonna be great for the boss. There's a boss?! Yep, it's Manaphy. Thanks for spoiling it! Hey. Soiled hey. it. Soiled it. <laughs> Spoiled it. I think you spoiled it. Spoiled it. By the way, what are Grimers doing at the bottom of the ocean? Uh, Justin, Toxic Sludge is actually there's areas that are like this in the ocean. Yeah, but we're in the Pokemon world where humans aren't around to pollute. Uh, because uh, you're drinking uh, lava tea. Do you know what that's made out of? Lava. And tea. Tea is terrible for the environment. It. Is made of environment, you dingus. Exactly, you're killing the environment for your tea. No, I'm eating it. <laughs> hey, hey, look at me. Could use that. Floor twenty-one. Oh, hey, stuff. And the grammar can't get Ooh, you. Oh, I have an escape orb. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get rid of one of these warp orbs. Really? And you've been poisoned. Really? Yes. There we go. He's of the dead. Ow. Face my wrath. Over 200 damage. Bye, Raven. Ow. 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 
really? Detect band. I don't have anything to get rid of for that. Do I? I could get rid of this roll call orb. Yeah, since you don't really need to worry about Raven, it's not a big deal if you don't ha have a roll call orb. Yeah. Oh, hey, look in the place I'm at. And look at how much damage you've taken. Yeah. Powder snow. Powder snow. Raven, why do you dodge everything? He has a detect band, remember? Didn't I replace that? Check, I don't recall. Water gun. Shouldn't water gun be super effective on Omastar? Is he a water grok? Yeah, which would make him weak to water. Water doesn't resist water. Yes, it does. Duh. Water resists water, grass resists grass, fire resists fire. I'm checking this. Uh. What? Why would I ever. I've never even seen this item before. What is it? Patsy Band. Check its description. No, it makes you take crits more often. Oh, I know why you would use that. I know why I would use that. But oh, no, 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 you throw it onto an enemy, they catch yeah. it, and then... Yeah. I know. Again, but... there are some serious tactics in this game that people use to make it easier on themselves. Yeah, but I've never seen that before, is my well, point. It's a point... Well, it's a post-game dungeon. This is where strategy is supposed to get ramped up to the extreme. I've played the post-game before. I've never seen it, is my point. Well, you had a very sparse run. I've seen a lot of shit in this game. Yeah. Patsy bands are not one of the things I've seen. You've missed out on quite a bit, Gabe. Because I've missed out on one thing? Yes. Shut up. Never! By the way, I'm going to check and see if there's a, a certain item in this game. Did you ever get the answer if water types are resistant to water types? Huh? Hmm. Uh. I just became terrified. What does that do? Oh, it means you can't attack. Oh, okay. Why did I become terrified? Is that his move? Mm -hmm. I think it's because of his stench. Oh no, you spell too badly. Ah. Well, to be fair, no one likes taking out the gun. Oh, Raven. Wow, Serby has some weird translations of these things. Wow, these are some weird translations. There we go. Now that he's dead... And just... Ne never mind, I'll just look it up on Bulbapedia later. What's up, Gaben? Never mind. Uh... You just aren't really paying attention. Ow. Uh, that's because I was looking up to see if the Golden Seed existed in this game. Ow. Uh, sadly, it does not. It's in the sequel. And since it is in the sequel, I won't talk about what it actually does. But for those who want to look it up, uh, Golden Seed, Mystery Dungeons, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> X-ray specs, take them. That's what I was going after. That's fucking funny. <sighs> oh my gosh. That's fucking funny. Like, that got as, ridiculous. You can be as mad as you want. That was fucking funny. Um. Uh, you already have a person ban. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. Give me this because I don't care about my power right now. Don't Pearl care about that either. That will cost components. Although now this is giving you the power to be a klepto in any room in the dungeon. Yep. I should have never told you about those items. I knew what they were already. I just didn't know where they were. And like I thought they were mostly post-game. Uh, well. Folks, this now means that Gabe will be dicking around in dungeons for twice as long, grabbing items he doesn't need. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I always need them. I need it. I need it. I really, really need it. Mm. No, the saying is, I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I need it! And this is why we're taking Gabe to counseling when this LP is over. <laughs> okay. All right, got the scanner orb. Might as well use it. All it does is show item locations, which is irrelevant because he has the extra specs. Yep. There we go, and you've become of the dead. <sighs> hey, Raven. Hey, Raven. Thunderbolt! There so we is go. So is he going to be the Aqua Slayer now? Yes, that's actually what I plan on using him for. Oh, joy. By the way, folks, um, we've seen moves like Shockwave and Flamethrower that can go all the way across in straight lines. Thunderbolt is now a unique instance where we get to see um, moves that hit one tile away from you in every direction. So, basically, it's an area of effect move around yourself. Mm -hmm. Meaning that... He can actually, uh, in a monster house, he can hit, like, five enemies at once. Yep, which is useful. And thankfully, you haven't run into a single monster house in this dungeon. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're a son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Murphy's Law won't let it actually happen. Mm-hmm. Gabe, that time I wasn't taunting it. I'm actually saying once you're aware and try to invoke Murphy's Law on purpose, it never works. Justin? Gabe, in every instance where I've done it, it never worked. There we go. Oh, hi, Almar. Armaldo. Fight it. Gabe, you son of a bitch. There we go. Now that you've dealt enough damage, I don't have to put you in danger anymore. Because this is getting boring. This is a slap fight. Well, yes, you don't have any PP left. By the way, what happened to that max elixir you had? I have it. I just don't want to have to use it yet. You're waiting until Scary Face runs out of PP. No, actually, if I can just get through to the end, then I figure that it won't be a problem. I don't know if th this follows the same logic in the sequel where your moves recharge when you reach a boss. I don't think so. No. Well, but is... that man is going to be quite a problem if you don't have any PP to use on it. Question. Is mm -hmm. Manaphy even an issue? Fine, I'll use the max elixir. There you go. And no, I'm being facetious facetious, so that way I don't spoil what the actual boss of this dungeon is. Okay. Water gun. You just wet some toxic sludge and then zapped it. That should cause an explosion of some sort. Blowback orb. Those are actually fun to use to knock enemies around with. Even better, knock them into other enemies who are way behind them. Yep. Oh, hey, cluster of items. I wonder how that would go. Yeah, it'll go perfectly. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Now, if only this were a Kecleon shop. I know it's stupid to say you want to rob somebody, but at the same time, I still want to show off what happens when you rob a Kecleon shop, because it's actually pretty fucking funny. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, Gabe, it's fucking hilarious. I've done it in um, a dungeon we'll be going to later, Joyous Tower, where you're set to level one. No. I did it. I've done I it. It... <laughs> I, all I did, run directly into the water and watch them spaz out as they try to catch me. Justin? It was fucking priceless. I don't give a damn what anyone says. Why does it blink sometimes? Oh, because Why are there so many enemies? Because you pissed off Manaphy. It's summoning its royal vanguard to kick your ass. Manaphy guard? Ah! I don't get it. You get it. Actually, no, I don't get it, actually. 
You said man guard? Van guard. Manaphy guard. You're fucking retarded, sir. <laughs> Raven? <laughs> Raven, don't you let that C. Durgan beat you. There we go. Good. <sighs> this is why I have gravel rocks. <laughs> oh, this, this is fucking funny. He has three HP left, for God's sake. This is why I have gravel rocks. Now, see, he's a <laughs> Gravel rocks! <laughs> I threw a rock at it! There. Oh, you right, that one. isn't what cures you of your whiffer status. Yeah, I know. I, I, I was thinking of another thing that uh, kind of acts as a full heal style thing. That actually fixes something else entirely. It uh, cleans up. Gabe, what are you doing? I was waiting to heal Braven. Yeah, but you just spawned more enemies to kick your ass. They were. Did you. Did you even look at the menu? Yes, I did. They were already all up there. Gabe, they were just running down towards me. <sighs> look, it's a difference in, in how people strategize, Gabe. I would have just moved forward and let him heal up on the way out. Yeah, but I wouldn't because I care about uh, not having to deal with bad things. Gabe, He's... something bad's gonna happen regardless. No. Right, Warp, Orb doesn't work on you. Dang it. Why are you trying to ditch Raven, you prick? Oh god, it knows Absorb. Haha! -ha! You're dead. <laughs> Paralyzed. Well, that was convenient. Raven is an extremely lucky party member. He's good at killing things. Raven good oh, at killing things? No one saw that coming. Well, given, given that um, it works kind of like how we are in real life, it makes sense. I'm very tough, and you're very... Ooh, aerial Ace. You might want to learn that. Yeah. Uh, wait, should I use that on Raven? No, you can use it on yourself. Alright. That's why you have a way to kill grass types. Uh, scary face? <laughs> yeah. Considering the fact that you're going to have a flying alligator as an avatar, I'm pretty sure that trumps whatever scary faces it makes. And yes, folks, technically Aerial Ace does mean that he can fly. I'm an ace in the air. I need you to shut up forever now. Um, Get rid of one of my... Tech bands. Water gun. All right. Oh, hello. Raven. <laughs> oh my god! You just cannot fucking win. There. I just get in the stairs. Gotta get to the stairs. Just gotta get down the stairs and. Oh hey. shit. And that's exactly what you're going to say when Manaphy kicks your ass. Uh-huh. Oh, come on! <laughs> and this is why Smokescreen 2 OP. Tentacruel, the right Pokemon. Tentacruel, actually. The cruel right Pokemon. Thank you, Gabe. Okay. Switcher Orb. Just switches your position with whatever Pokemon it hits. Why does it blink? Because of its one gem eye. What does that do, though? I don't know. Does it, like, make it so it's no longer, like... I don't know. It just lets you know that it's staring at you and can't stare any longer because it had to blink. But... Shouldn't everything do that, then? Nope. Only Starmie because it has that one un unblinking eye, which blinks. Raven? Are you at a PP? Raven, you should you should have held your P till we got to the bottom of the dungeon. 
Yeah, he's bad. Out of PP for everything. Come on! Yeah, this is why post-game dungeons are really annoying. I found... Well... Around the corner. Yeah, Water Gun is kind of a dick move like that. There are a lot of moves that are really, really OP in this game that are not as OP in the original games. Water Gun being able to maneuver around corners. Um, How much health do you have? A lot, Gabe. A lot. You might want to use Dive. Oh, yeah. you're wrapped. Yeah. Tentacruel will be straight rapid on your ass. Should I just use Escape? Uh, depends. You have an Ornberry? No, I had to use it earlier. Get the fuck out of here, man, because you're getting wrecked. Bye! <laughs> oh my gosh. So, guys, that was a failure. <laughs> Not a failure. You got to keep your items. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah, Escape Orbs lets you leave the dungeon no penalty. Yeah, but it just... it's not okay. <laughs> next I time... Think, I think next time we're gonna come back after we've evolved again. Well... well... I kinda Gabe. wanna do that dungeon next. What dungeon? The dungeon. I'll meet you guys at the end of that dungeon next time. Oh, so, okay. Next time we'll play Pokemon... Well, okay, we'll, we'll meet them on the 39th floor, because the last floor is the floor of the boss. Yeah. So next time... Oh, come on, I can't use... <sighs> you can't store or use TMs, that would be kind of pointless. It would have been awesome. Um, so next time on Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, we're going to be going back into that dungeon, we're going to be, you know, getting back into the groove things and actually doing well this time. See you guys then. Good luck! <laughs>